Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to see how to assemble quilts. I think the first question is, why would you want to assemble quilts? Well, let me show you. Here in this example, we have four quilts. They're called Quilt 1, Quilt 2, Quilt 3, and Quilt 4. You can see them here in the list. Well, let's see what we would normally do. I'm going to select all four quilts, and up here on the toolbar, I'm going to click on the icon that's called Domains on Database Entities. Now as you can see, it created four separate domains, and there are connectors in between each of the domains. Now if I had a very busy model, and that would not be as efficient as I would like it to be. I might just want to have one large domain. Well, let me show you how to do that. I'm going to select those, domain, those uh, quilts, quilt 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'm going to go up to the menu and select Create Assemble Quilts. Now right now it says there are four quilts. Those are the four that I have selected. Now when I push the Assemble button, note that all four quilts are assembled into one large quilt. In fact, up here on the table it just says one quilt. I'll push OK. Now, over here in the list it says I have one model, and of course those four quilts were combined into one quilt. So I'm going to select that quilt, go back up to the toolbar, and click on the icon that says Domains on Database Entities. And lo and behold, there is one large domain. It skips over the edges that you saw between the quilts, and the connectors are actually only out at the outside. In fact, the connectors are only out here. So there you have it. That's one of the advantages of assembling quilts. Thank you for watching, and have a pleasant Tuesday.